Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I will going to answer a very common question and I would say a very common misconception that is can capacitor reduce electricity bill. So there are lots of videos in the YouTube which claim that by adding the capacitor the electricity bill can be reduced. So let's see whether this claim is true or false. First of all, we need to learn how the electricity bill is calculated. For this, the unit of energy which is consumed by the consumer or which is delivered by the utility services provider is a kilowatt hour. So this is also one unit of electricity. It means that if a consumer consumes 1000 watts or 1 kilowatt of active power in one hour, he has consumed one unit of energy. Similarly, if he consumes 500 watt of active power for two hours, it means that he has consumed the same amount of electricity which is one kilowatt hour. So this is a device which is called the energy meter which is used to calculate the total number of the energy consumed by the consumer. So let's see the internal diagram of this meter. There are two terminals for the incoming supply and two terminals for the outgoing supply. So this meter can measure the current that is flowing through it and it can also measure the voltage that is being supplied to the consumer. So once the voltage and the current are calculated, the last quantity is the cos phi which is the power factor. Since both the quantities that is voltage and current are the AC quantities, it means that this electronic device can compute the angle between these two devices. So taking the cos of that angle is equal to the power factor. And by multiplying these three quantities, this meter can calculate the active power which is kilowatt and also multiplying this active power with the amount of the time this power is used, it can calculate the total energy that is being consumed by the consumer. For three phase metering, the only difference is in the formula. Okay. Once the total amount of energy is calculated by the energy meter, every service provider charge few dollars per kilowatt hour or the energy to the consumer. So the more the energy consumed by the consumer, the greater the electricity bill. Now come back to the original question, which is whether adding the capacitor can help in reduction of electricity bill or not. So let me explain with the help of very basic example. So let's say that there is no capacitor installed across the supply. So what happens? We have to calculate the power at the energy of a house in which the voltage is 230 volts and the total current drawn by the load is 36 ampere at the power factor of 0.6. Again, all three quantities can be measured by the energy meter. So when the energy meter mul multiplies these quantities according to this formula, the total power comes out to be 5000 watts or 5 kilowatt. It means that this house is consuming 5 kilowatt of active power and since we have been told that this load is for one hour, it means that in one hour this house will consume 5 units of electricity. Now let's just connect a capacitor across the supply of this house and see whether it can reduce this unit or not. Before answering the question, I want to clear the concept of the power factor. So when you install the capacitor, the only thing the capacitor do is to improve the lagging power factor. So this is how I will explain the concept of power factor with the help of this example, wine example. So the total glass represents the parent power the vine in the glass represents the active power 
and the form above the wind represents the reactive power. So what does this capacitor do? This capacitor will improve the power factor by decreasing the amount of the form and thereby increasing the space for the wind in the same glass. Now what happens when you install the capacitor? The capacitor will only improve the power factor of this house from 0.6 to 0.8. The meter will again read these quantities. Now the other difference is the amount of the current that is drawn by the house. Now it is reduced to 27 ampere. By multiplying all these quantities, the active power will again remain the same which is 5 kilowatt. Now you can see that by adding the capacitor, it will improve the power factor and it reduces the total amount of the current but the overall power remains the same which is 5 kilowatt. And again, if the same power is consumed for one hour, it means that the house is consuming five units of electricity. Now you see that there is absolutely no difference in the total consumption. So there will be no difference or no reduction in the electricity bill if you install the capacitor in the single phase or the three phase domestic supply. Now let's talk about the industrial tariff as we all know that whenever we talk about industries, we talk about hundreds of thousands of ampere. So in industries, if the power factor is very low, the industry will consume hundreds of extra current from the service provider, from the utility, which limits the capacity of the distribution equipment. That is why the service provider will impose huge penalty on the consumer if their power factor is below the recommended value. In order to avoid low power factor condition, the capacitors are usually installed across the supply to improve the overall power factor and this is called power factor correction method. That is how by improving the power factor, the consumer will not be penalized and they will only be charged for the energy they consume. So we can say that in industrial tariff, if the power factor is low, installing the capacitor will definitely help in the reduction of electricity bill. So I hope you understand the complete concept. I hope you like this video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.